And thank you for the ice spy badge. That sounds like something very useful if you're after star pieces and not using any notes like I do. <laughs> so, for me, an item like that is actually useless. But the train we just got is definitely not useless. Time for us to head back into the house where we found Shy Guy's toy box. And this time around, we can actually work some magic in there. If we can actually find the door. <laughs> All right, let's go in. At least, that is normally what you think you would do. But watch what happens if you try to actually give the train to these guys. You gave the storeroom key back to the storekeeper? You must have been super happy. Happier than I am, anyway. <laughs> There's still no train, so I don't have a job. Yeah, but I've got a train. Perhaps I need to give it to this guy. Here. Ah, look, we cannot very well ride on a tiny little toy train. That would be impossible. Put that back in its toy box. <laughs> Okay, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Let's go put it back in its toy box. Not inside the toy box, but actually from outside the toy box. This is how we actually deal with the train. Put it in from here. And for some reason we shrink the moment we actually go in here, but the train will not, so... <laughs> it will actually come in as a life-sized train. And that is our way to actually continue in Shy Guy's toy box. Or SGTB. <laughs> Let's call it SGTB. <laughs> the train is running again. We can leave any time. Indeed. And that any time is going to be now. However, one thing of note. As you can see, the train tracks are not functional when it comes to heading the left way. So, <laughs> we can only head to the right. So, the red station, looking at the map, is currently inaccessible. But we can actually head to the pink station. Don't forget to actually press the button. And then we are off. Yahoo! We're back in business! This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks. <laughs> Public transport's up and running. You can use the switches in front of the station to choose the train's direction. Have you figured out which way you want to go? Please tell me again if you're sure that's the way you want to go. All aboard! Where would you like to go? Only one destination accessible. We're leaving! All aboard! Let's head to the pink station. Second time we're on a train uh, in this game, by the way. <laughs> Next up, Pink Station. Now arriving at Pink Station. And the final part of the dialogue went a bit too quick, so I was not able to see what it was. <laughs> Couldn't be too important. Station stop, Pink Station. Welcome to Pink Station, passengers. Now, let's go see what we can actually do over here. Um, looks like there's a chest over here. Contents. Mailbag. Nice, so we can actually check out the partner mail again. <laughs> Next up, star piece. Every single one of the stations is going to have one, by the way, so... Oh, actually landed right on top of it. <laughs> A bit too precise. But here's the star piece for the pink station. Now, let's go check out what is in the pink station. Kami Koopa, of course. With our next biggest fear. Now, um, let's go deal with the enemies first over here. Oh, thank you, Merly. I don't think this is going to mean level up. Because double looks like to be 12. Yeah, it's going to put me at 99. <laughs> One star point short. So unfair. <laughs> but hey, there's plenty of enemies over here, so I don't care. The next guy is going to level me up. You, over there. You're going to be the one. Oh, this is actually a new enemy as well. Here we have a Medi guy. That's going to be the one we take out first. Because he can actually heal the rest of the party. It's something that can uh, drag on the battle for way too long. Something I don't feel like doing. <laughs> so he's going out first. Attack-wise, that guy can't do too much. I believe he only has one attack power. So he is easily blocked. But uh, he can actually heal all of the other members in his party. So for that reason, I still suggest to take him out first. No, you don't. And... Done. Six star points means five star points extra plus a level up. And we are going to be leveling up our flower points, obviously. Don't want those to fall behind too far. Something I do feel it's doing uh, already, so... <laughs> 
Let's open up this chest and find another badge. A defense plus badge. General damage taken down by one if you actually equip this. Very handy to do. Technically a better damage dodge you might say. <laughs> For this one you don't even need the action command in order to dodge some attack power. But when combined it can even uh, decrease your damage with two if you're able to do the action commands. Um, how do I get over there? What are you doing over there sir? Are you going to show me the way? <laughs> yeah, and he will. But that is indeed how we get there. Okay, we need to wait for the shy guy to actually appear. We're not able to push this wall ourselves. No, indeed, we cannot. So, wait for a shy guy to appear. Wait for him to actually push the door. <laughs> and then we slip by with him. Oh, oops. <laughs> Well, that was a waste of time. One coin, one star point. The block also only contains only one coin, so perhaps also a waste of time. <laughs> this chest over here is going to contain another badge. This one is going to be the Ice Power Badge. Which is a really powerful badge, because this one actually allows you to hurt fire enemies while jumping. And of course also increases attack power against fire enemies, even when using the hammer. And now we need to be careful, because there was of course a very scary Thunder Rage over here. <laughs> The chest over here will actually contain a frying pan. And yes, this one is actually required. Unlike the calculator and the mail bag that we actually also got from here. This one, just like the storeroom key, is a required item. We're not able to continue in this place if we don't actually pick up this item. In fact, we actually need it already because we can actually um, go to the left over here. But we will find out it is a dead end. We're not able to pass all the way to the end. But we need to because there's a switch over there. <laughs> and that switch we need to pull. Because otherwise the tracks to the green station are not going to be accessible. Conclusion. We need to leave again. <laughs> we need to head back to Toe Town yet again. Last time in order to give the storeroom key back. So we were able to find this toy train that we're currently riding. <laughs> but now we actually need to return the frying pan. Also the mail bag, of course, because I need to check my mail. <laughs> but for the story, that is not required. But the frying pan is going to be. Back yet again. The biggest downside of chapter 4, all of the backtracking. <laughs> but on the other hand, I do appreciate the aspect in the story. It does make it feel like a cute chapter. It's not all bad. <laughs> but anyway, here's the frying pan. Oh, hello there, hun. Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook now. I'm so sorry. My dear old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. It really burns me up. Ah, oh, no problem, tasty. Look, look what I found. <laughs> oh, Mario, my dear, dear frying pan. You saved it from the shy guys. Thank you so much, Mario. For that, I'm going to make you something extra special. Tra -la 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 -la. Is that always what people sing the moment they start cooking? <laughs> oh my, you're care. Ah, I always carry too much stuff in the RPG. You should know about that. <laughs> okay. Um, what can I ditch? Still need the cake mix and the goom nuts, so I cannot actually ditch those. Let's just use the maple syrup. Now. And our reward is going to be cake. This is my most delicious cake. One taste of it won my late darling's heart. Aww. I swore I would never make it again. But you're very special, Mario. Just one bite will make anybody go gaga. Yeah, that is indeed the item we need. However, we are also here for the Koopakoot favor. Now that the frying pan is returned, and therefore the cooking has been returned, <laughs> we can also finally cook with the Goomnut. And actually finish that final Koopakoot favor. Technically something I needed to do in uh, post chapter 3. But because of this happening, <laughs> I was not able to. <laughs> here we get the nutty cake for Koopakoot, finally. For now, that's all. There's going to be more cooking later on. But that is going to be for later on. <laughs> now, let's return the mail back to the post office. Also still something we needed to do post chapter 3. Checking the mail. 
Shy Guy stole a full bag of mail from us. We have failed in our duty. Come rain, or sleet, or snow, or Shy Guys, we're supposed to deliver no matter what. Whatever can we do? <laughs> you can stop worrying. Oh, that's it! That's it! The bag! Thank you, Mario! You'll never know how many people will be happy to get mail. Let me give you a small thank you gift. Star piece. But there's a bigger reward. Checking the mail. <laughs> the paracarry does not even dare to go beyond the door. <laughs> Silly man. Let's go check Goombario's mail. Dear Goombario. How goes the adventure with Mario? Is it fun? Are you being a brave Goomba? Remember to relish your time out in the wide world. Grow wise from your travels. I wish the stars that your adventure will prove to be a fruitful one. If you can, drop in on us old folks now and again. Goomba misses you terribly. I'm looking forward to seeing you as a grown-up. Goomba. Right, it was a pretty basic letter. Now let's go to the mail for our newest party member, Bao. Apparently people want her too. <laughs> a letter from the booth of Gusty Gulch. Dear Lady Bao, Thank you for rescuing us from that horrible tubba blubba up on Gusty Gulch. We'd never dreamed we'd meet a boo of your stature. The sight of you alone would have been enough to keep us going. But you went ahead and defeated Tubba Blubba too. We thought that our friends were done for when they were eaten. But they've all returned. Many thanks. When you're done with your quest, we're throwing a party. Please come. Ah, nice. Oh, and please say hi to everyone at Boo's Mansion. The Boo's in Gusty Gulch. And that leaves only one more. For our mailman itself. <laughs> a letter from Weka. Hmm. It's the guy from Mind Rugged. Let's go read. Weku, this is Weka. Mr. Paracarry. From my place in the shadows, I always see you flying above Mount Rugged. It looks so much fun, flying on a sunny day. Tell me about it sometime. My wish to the stars is that you'll never fall from the sky. Weka of Mount Rugged. No, the only thing that actually falls from the sky is his letters. <laughs> but not the paratrooper himself. <laughs> Perhaps that should happen once. Perhaps then he will actually learn his lesson. But anyway, now that we're back on track, it's time for us to go even further back on track. <laughs> and also deliver the nutty cake quickly before returning to Shy Guy's toy box. And this is going to be the final favor according to my notes. We're not going to be here for long. Unless Charquismo actually appears here, then we're going to be a bit longer in this area. <laughs> Shall we do another question, sir? Question! How many coins are needed to buy a mushroom at the shop in Koopa Village? That I do not know, but I can make an educated guess. I think it is four, because two is too cheap and eight is too expensive for a simple mushroom. And indeed... <laughs> That way you can also find uh, answers to your questions. Just think logically. No one would sell a single mushroom if you actually ask eight coins for it. <laughs> Howdy, sir. Sorry it actually took so long. <laughs> Bouncing bob -ombs. I owe you big time, Mario. Oh, oh, this is heavenly. I am nutty for this cake. Here's a reward for you. Yeah, it's going to be one coin, so I don't care. At least the quest is done. That is more important. Now, time for us to return to chapter 4. <laughs> I think we are ready to move on. Press the pink button. It's time for us to unlock the green station. Do make sure to actually have that cake with you. I'm warning you beforehand. The cake is required in order to advance. Make sure you still have that on you. If you have accidentally eaten it yourself or sold it or anything else, <laughs> you can actually use a cake mix to make a new one. So don't think it's a unique item. The cake mix can be used to actually um, make this cake. But I, of course, actually still have it on me. And therefore, we are able to move to the west area from the pink station. On our way towards the pink switch. Uh, over there we see a new enemy. It's actually one of the more annoying enemies in uh, Shy Guy's Toy Box. <laughs> the pyro guys. But these guys are also new. The spy guys. He dresses up like a pirate. Actually uses a slingshot on the overworld to um, do the first strike on you, so be careful for them. 
every time you hit him, you will actually change weapon. As you can see, it's a hammer now. <laughs> you will actually switch between hammer and slingshots, depending on how many times you hit him. Weird enemy, therefore. You I'm not afraid of. <laughs> You've got nothing to heal. And your attack power is weak. Just like mine, if I actually miss my action command. <laughs> Try this again. Yeah, there we go. I am allowed to finish you. <laughs> oh, this guy's only worth one star point now. On the last level, it was still two star points. Now it's only one. But it is still better than zero. The moment enemies start giving you zero star points, then you're overleveled. <laughs> I'm apparently still at the right level for this part of the game. Let's see what we find over here. Not interested in you. <laughs> However, it looks like we have to actually interact with that guy. Because otherwise, it's a dead end. We have to get past this guy. But he's blocking the entire entrance across the tracks, as you can see. Everybody calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why. I'm just an ordinary food-loving shy guy. <laughs> so, I'm hungry. You can give this guy whatever you want, but there's only one thing that will actually make him crazy enough to move aside. <laughs> Otherwise, he's not going to move. It is this unique cake that we need to give him. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Delicious. <laughs> this is lip-smacking good. Who would have guessed something that big can actually move that fast? <laughs> Yummy! And he will drop another key item. This is a cookbook. Let's go show this to a good cook later on. Can you guess who? <laughs> something we're going to be doing later. Of course, we don't need it right now. We're also busy right now. We're doing chapter 4. <laughs> Oh, here we're going to get the first of these guys. It might actually be handy to use your ice power badge the moment you uh, start meeting up with these guys. I currently don't have the badge points to uh, equip it quickly, I'm afraid. Also, don't really want to dequip any other badges. Oh, dang it! I hate these guys. Yeah, and I'm also not able to actually uh, dart you. <laughs> Stupid groove guy. Hurts! <laughs> Terra carry. Finish this guy. Oh, wait, you don't have enough power, of course. Nice job summoning. Yeah, now I'm able to dart you. <laughs> or at least block you. It'll still hurt me, of course. No, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm losing way too much HP here. Next time I get in a situation like this, I'll just use my Star Storm. Because I don't like getting hurt so much. <laughs> Goodbye. Man. Lost more than half of my HP over here. <laughs> And that is all for this screen. Next one. This one is also going to have a pyro guy. We've already seen that. And of course a groove guy. Well, this one was easy at least. So now we're going to get another one. Oh, this is a multi-coin block. Thank you. And... Alright, here you are. Missed the first strike. Dang it. Oh, there's three of them. You know what? Um, I'm going to use an attack all enemies item. We just got uh, Thunder Rage from the very nice Kami Koopa, so... <laughs> First for quite a bit already. Boom. First one down. Um... No, you know what? 
It's got 7 HP, I can use Quake Hammer. Because that way they will both fall already. Thank you. And that should have been the final one. Yeah. Alright. Almost cost us our life, but we have reached the switch. <laughs> and that way we can actually correct the tracks into a way that they are usable. And that's all we can do here. Time for us to return. All of the enemies should still be gone. Enemies do like respawning sometimes, but not this quickly, usually, so... <laughs> these screens we can traverse safely without having to worry about these guys. That's the benefit of taking them out. On the way back, they're still going to be gone. <laughs> So, here we are. Green station accessible. And no reason not to go there immediately. We're going to green. We're leaving. All aboard. That takes care of two of the stations already. Already able to see on the map that there's actually four stations. And this one apparently goes towards slot machines. Hmm. Sounds interesting, I guess. Next up is Green Station. Time for us to actually explore this place. Should be a star piece over here as well. <laughs> All of them will have one. This one should be... Yeah, around the left area, according to my notes. It's indeed correct. Next up, we can actually find this over here. Seems to be related with the background, because the tracks are once again out again. These boxes do have the same color as we see on the wall. We're just hitting them. Will not give us the result we were actually looking for. <laughs> just some coins will actually pop out. In order to actually solve this mystery, of how to actually get the train tracks in working order again, by lowering the panels on the wall over there, and that is something we're not able to do quite yet. 